ओके फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेक्चर दैट इज ओवर द एन वी क्रॉप साइंस टूल सो दिस टूल विल एक्चुअली अ वेरी यूजफुल टूल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू द प्रिसन एग्रीकल्चर सो आई विल गोइंग टू शो यू द टू डेमो वन इज ओवर द हॉर्टिकल्चर प्लांट्स हाउ विल गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द विच वन इज हेल्दी एंड नॉन हेल्दी एंड सेम काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वील गोइंग टू सी ओवर द एग्रीकल्चर प्लॉट्स सो लेट्स स्टे विथ मी the healthy and not healthy uh, uh, horticulture plants and for that first i will show you the first technique that is the enhancement technique so one thing i will tell you see, see if your plot size is very big so or uh, means your area is very big sorry your area is very big and you want to focus on a particular plot area so always here you have to you have to be subset final area and then you go for that okay so then you you will get a basis result from this i just first show the enhanced crop technique so enhanced crop technique so here i am taking one uh, subsetted image of a crop land so here you gave a input of your uh, subset image and what i am going to do here see i am here what i told the enhanced crop techniques we always give a single band using a single band i want to extract the crops so wherever this crops it should be highlighted which are we actually doing from the spectral analysis techniques like ndvi and other techniques okay i told you about that so now i just take this spectral bands and i will take suppose i want to enhance the crop using the green bands okay as so now i just select it make it okay okay so just run see here you will get all these crops extracted okay and highlighted which is what we actually got from indexing or spectral indexing or spectral targeting techniques okay using single bands only you will get the information so this is actually the spectral information spectral value which is there so using some statistical techniques which is enhancing okay so this enhancement tool is giving that power to you okay so this is actually a very important parameter for the crop counts okay so if i want to count the crop so for that what i will going to do i will create the crop count suppose okay so here i want to give my inputs i just give my inputs of my this agriculture enhanced crops which i actually calculate the enhanced crops okay and i just put it okay so here you have to give the minimum and maximum diameter of the crops so for that suppose i am giving for this plot i am giving 1.4 uh, and this i am 1.7 suppose i am giving 1.7 and this maximum diameter crops i am giving 4.8 okay and this is also is, is a required parameter so now i just uh, put it by default run see so here you will get the crop crowns but here we we will found some problems problem is what problem is if you see if i just swap this and i will see this enhanced crop see this shadow area see this is the shadow area okay so this shadow area is also taken as a crop crowns okay so sometime it is affecting my results okay so if you have no other options to do then you can go for this technique it's no problem okay but if you have options if you have options for the spectral more spectral bands then you can go for ndvi techniques the same process i can go for the ndvi okay and then after that we can count count the crop counts let's see how we'll do that so for this suppose you want the ndvi images okay so here ndvi image i if i want to calculate so for this i have to give input my subsets okay so subsets so here you have to be very careful you have to be understand uh, your bands so for the ndvi bands we required which bands people actually remember by this number but you should be remember by the spectral bands okay you required infrared or red bands okay so just uh, if you select this and then go to this okay so this i am talking about so you should be very careful about which band you are taking out so here according to this satellite image you, i am selecting the band 3 and band 4 for this and i just run it in memory okay and just just okay so see here so now i got my ndvi extracted value so see this is also enhancing my crops okay so both techniques is actually good okay but that is a single bands and this is i am using the two double band okay for the indexing spectral targeting okay so now i go for the same technique it's called crop crowns okay count crops 
now i give my ndvi value so this is the my ndvi value i just give it as my input parameter okay so now it is my input parameter i give the same value which i was giving earlier so this should be my suppose 1.7 and this i am giving 4.8 okay and then i just run it see what see here i got the same canopy values okay so now first i have to show you uh, one by one okay so this is your ndvi match okay and see now so this is actually the the shadow is now extracted shadow is separated from the crown so it is extracting only the crowns earlier it was actually taking that shadow also so now i will show you that also and then you will get an idea so see so this is i am i am stopping the ndvi one see this is this is taking the shadow part but if i stop it and i open the ndvi one so this is not taking the shadow part okay so this result is much giving better another good thing is which i am told talking about that is crop counts means how many trees will be there so how will understand this this is actually very important parameter if you go and calculate the biomass okay so for this just i am going to this and show you the statistical classes okay so if you select here so which one is your agriculture the ndvi one so this one is your ndvi one okay then just just wait okay so see the crop counts okay so this crop counts is actually is coming 223 crops will be there in the field so this value is we have to put in your biomass calculations okay so that's why it is very important another see it, another important thing is it is little bit of uh, giving good results than your green band value so in green band you, you have missed some missing value you just you just see here if i show you here uh, suppose this two so this two so this two it is not coming here but if i remove this so this is coming okay okay so this is coming so that is another good thing uh, means another important points how uh, the ndvi one is giving more better results for your crop targeting okay so now i just go for the next thing so that is now we understand this using these two bands i uh, means one is green band extraction and another one is uh, ndvi extraction i i found that ndvi is giving a more better results so what i am going to do i am going to take the crop calculation matrix okay calculate crop matrix Uh, and here i am giving my input as the ndvi one point okay so see here i, I am just taking uh, for data collections i am just uh, going to select uh, input raster okay 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 this is input raster fine okay another is i am giving here this one okay this found this file is created from this okay and then okay make it okay sorry 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 so sorry, sorry. 1 minute 1 minute i just wrongly taken 1 minute i should take the ndvi value here and i will take strings okay find out yes okay so after if i after this results now we will able to understand see this is average and if you go here it is a less and it is positive so the uh, the value is is more than average it is giving us the good and healthy plant informations and if you go the lesser value that is actually showing the plants with required more a importance or it is under stress you require the more enhancement of that okay so this is the first part of the demonstration where from where we can understand the horticulture plants which are actually more in stress and less in stress so now i go for the next is for crop land i i can understand from this the horticulture plantations now if i if i talking about agriculture plots and we want to find the same kind of healthy spots or uh, less healthy spots so i will do that so here i have one hyperspectral image so i am showing over that only so for this i will go for the 
hotspot analysis calculation so for hotspot analysis i have i already told you we have a two options one is called find hotspots another is find hotspot with a spectral indices so find hotspots if i first i am going so here what is actually the objective here is so whenever you have a single band so you have to take here the single bands okay so means you don't have any other options you have multiple options you don't have so you are going a single bands to do a finding hotspot techniques okay so here i am taking the same so here in hyperspectrals we have so many number of bands okay so uh, i i i'll do a spectral subset for this i am taking a single bands in the green range okay so 4 to 5 5 to 6 5 to 6 is my green range so suppose this 5.5 uh, to 5 point uh, this is my green band okay so this green band range i am taking here and i just put it okay so suppose your distance in a crop distance you can give us a meter and then you just make it okay okay so see here you will find this this is our good I means hot hot spots and this is a cold spots okay so but here you should be very careful whenever you are taking your field data you should you should put the mask over this okay if you are not putting mask so it will may affected in some other area so you put mask and then you run this okay so this is the first one and then i just go for the next technique next technique is a fine hot spot technique so just you you just go for this one okay so here you will see also always this spectral techniques is giving a better results just see here i am selecting the same hyperon image okay and make it okay so see so now you have lot of spectral extraction techniques okay see here so many techniques are available so you have to understand which technique is suitable for your what purpose it is it should solve for your target crop information okay so th that will be very clear you should read about all the individuals okay so usually i, I actually following this uh, uh, green area uh, uh, leaf india index okay this is actually giving you the exact information the crop health okay so crop health uh, for that i am taking this so i am just giving the distance about to same technique and then i just put it okay so here now see see now we will get the two area this is actually under stress and this green zone is my hot spot zones okay so this is actually the technique which for the hot spot which is actually showing so what what we required for this so now we understand in the particular field which area i have to go i have to put the pesticide so see this is i am putting for the pesticide this is for different thing like uh, water stress or nitrogen stress suppose we are actually working in a field where the nitrogen stress we are actually monitoring okay so but uh, we are unable to tell the farmer we we understand this the, there is a nitrogen deficit in the, the in a particular part of the field but we are unable to tell that to exactly make a map and to tell the farmer earlier we are not able to do that okay so after we have getting this type of tools we can tell the farmer okay this is your area and you much you, may, you need to put the pesticides or nitrate compounds whatever it is you have to put in up this particular area see for this type of analysis you required uh, you to create the zonations okay means how will create the zonations so you have to create zonations from this tool okay just create zone if i am taking the create zone so it will it will convert it in a create it in convert it in a zones okay so i i am uh, giving input of uh, this one suppose input raster yes this is okay fine and here you have to give the number of categories means how much uh, classes you require okay four classes five classes okay it will according to that it will uh, create use the zones okay suppose i am giving you four you can try it either nine classes or five classes okay so you just take it change it and try it uh, whenever you are practicing so i just giving a minimum area of 200 and now i just put it okay so see so now i will farm this two places is actually up really the crop is under stress so